What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English beat. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to boost our vocabulary by learning 10 advanced adverbs. I've made videos on advanced nouns, adjectives, phrasal verbs, and verbs, but I realized I didn't have any on advanced adverbs. So, are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off! So the first adverb on my list today is whatsoever. Whatsoever. It's used after a negative statement to add emphasis. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, do you want to run a marathon again? No desire whatsoever. Do you want to run a marathon again? No desire whatsoever. The second one, do you have any questions? None whatsoever. Do you have any questions? None whatsoever. And one more example, he did nothing whatsoever to turn things around. He did nothing whatsoever to turn things around. Here we have a very interesting phrasal verb, to turn something around, which means to cause a situation to change in a positive direction. Now let's move on to our second adverb, which is somewhat. Somewhat. It means to some degree. And now three examples. The first one, I was somewhat frustrated when I didn't pass my driving test on the first attempt. I was somewhat frustrated when I didn't pass my driving test on the first attempt. Another example, the movie is somewhat boring. The movie is somewhat boring. And one more example, why he disappeared is somewhat of a mystery. Why he disappeared is somewhat of a mystery. Now let's move on to our third adverb, which is utterly. Utterly. It means completely, and remember that you can use it with extreme adjectives. And now, three examples. The first one, it was utterly unnecessary to send me this letter. It was utterly unnecessary to send me this letter. The second example, she was utterly shattered when her marriage went south. She was utterly shattered when her marriage went south. To go south is an American idiom which means to become very bad or to fail. And one more example, he thinks the world revolves around him. He's utterly self-centered. He thinks the world revolves around him. He's utterly self-centered. Number four, ultimately. Ultimately. It means finally or in the end. The first example, ultimately, I had to stop fighting and let it go. Ultimately, I had to stop fighting and let it go. Another example, ultimately, the worst case scenario didn't happen. Ultimately, the worst case scenario didn't happen. And one more example, ultimately, he decided to resign. Ultimately, he decided to resign. Number five, immensely. Immensely. This adverb means extremely. For example, Taylor Swift is an immensely talented songwriter. Taylor Swift is an immensely talented songwriter. The second example, This is Us, is an immensely touching series. This is Us is an immensely touching series. And one more example, The climb was immensely challenging. The climb was immensely challenging. And before we continue with our lesson and learn five more advanced adverbs, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Beats and your notifications are turned on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. 
Thank you. Let's move on to our adverb number six, which is namely. Namely. It means more specifically. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, she needs to improve her English, namely her speaking. She needs to improve her English, namely her speaking. The second example last year taught us some lessons, namely not to take anything for granted. Last year taught us some lessons, namely not to take anything for granted. And one more example, she wants to become a famous actress, namely in Hollywood. She wants to become a famous actress, namely in Hollywood. And now we're going to look at four formal adverbs that are not usually used in spoken English, but in formal writing, formal emails or literature. Number seven, notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. It means, however, nevertheless, or despite this. And now, three examples. The first one, notwithstanding being injured, I finished the marathon. Notwithstanding being injured, I finished the marathon. The second example, the meeting was quite successful. Notwithstanding, the agreement wasn't signed. The meeting was quite successful. Notwithstanding, the agreement wasn't signed. And one more example, I didn't feel like doing sport. Notwithstanding, I went for a run. I didn't feel like doing sport. Notwithstanding, I went for a run. Number eight, we've got a C2 adverb, albeit, albeit, and it means although. The first one, the apartment is lovely, albeit a bit too expensive. The apartment is lovely, albeit a bit too expensive. The second example, the dress is nice, albeit not appropriate for the wedding. The dress is nice, albeit not appropriate for the wedding. And one more example, cleaning the house was tedious, albeit very necessary. Cleaning the house was tedious, albeit very necessary. Two more to go, number nine, hence. Hence, it means therefore or for this reason. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, I slept very little last night, hence why I'm all over the place today. I slept very little last night, hence why I'm all over the place today. To be all over the place means to be disorganized and unable to think clearly. The second example, it was raining, hence why the match was put off. It was raining, hence why the match was put off. And one more example, sport helped her lose weight and hence boosted her self-confidence. Sport helped her lose weight and hence boosted her self-confidence. And last but not least, the adverb thereby. Thereby. It means as a result. And now, three examples. The first one, the company made a huge loss, thereby over 100 employees were made redundant. The company made a huge loss, thereby over 100 employees were made redundant. The second example, she suffers from insomnia, thereby her well-being has been affected. She suffers from insomnia, thereby her well-being has been affected. And the last example, he spied on his boss, thereby he was fired. He spied on his boss, thereby he was fired. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this short and I hope useful lesson. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching 
and see you next week. Ciao for now!